space. If I could get an opportunity to drag a space, put it in the commode and flush it. <laughs> <laughs> my dear fellow Toastmasters and friends, this was my colleague, Asha, who was burst of their words from her stomach, which she could not sustain. There were people who pulled her down from an opportunity for sending her on site. What had happened, she did not know, but there was a lot of gossip happening around the place. And I had access to the gossip. What I did, I went inside the groups to understand what might have really happened for pulling her down from an on site opportunity. Then when I went, I got to know, Asha being a very good human being, a social human being, she went into her friends and she said, Hey guys, I got an on-site opportunity. And they were, oh, congratulations, <laughs> well done. And then they had their assets boiling in their stomachs. They knew that Asha had also shared few incidents in the past, which could be used as a tool for ruining what she's getting now. Asha was not really a happy employee of the company. She had shared that with her friend, she said, what kind of a manager we have now? What kind of people? I don't like this work. I want to quit this job. Now this, these people had this nice weapon in their hand. They said, this is an opportunity, man. Let's go to the manager. And they grouped up. They went inside the manager's cabin and they said, you know, <coughs> this lady whom you are sending on said, she wanted to quit. She was not happy. This is what she said about you. Now this guy, some very good information is thank you, thank you. <laughs> Send them outside. Next he called Nasha and said, he said, Nasha, I'm really sorry that you know this opportunity is cancelled. I can't send you now. She quietly sent her outside. Now she goes back to her desk. She's a little disappointed. Not much, she's a little disappointed. Oh my god, I had a nice opportunity and it has lost. Now, like how gossip prevails in the group, we do not think you know this gossip will also go to her. One fine day she comes to know that you know people gossip about her with the manager. And the manager came to know that she lost, you know, she had pulled back the opportunity. Now, these people are all happy. Happiness for no cause. Happiness <laughs> because they ruined someone's life. But she felt miserable. She was a fresher in the company. Getting an onset opportunity was her life. She lost it. All this information we all get. But how do we use it? Loose talk or wise talk? This has been the pattern since times unknown for people using words to ruin others' lives. We might all be familiar with Ramayana. Rama was supposed to become the king the very next day. Then what happened? People who could not digest things walked up to his mother and filled in her ears, saying that, you have a son, why do you want to give it to Kausalya's son? You should do something here. You have your own three woes, why don't you use it? And now, the game changed to the other side. Poor guy, who was supposed to become a king, was sent to the forest. Here, people used words very wisely to do to topple situations. Another very, very famous, but a little funny too, from Mahabharata. There was this war which was going on. Pandavas, the pity side of uh, the warrior clan, they were standing on one side. On the other side, there were Kauravas, they had great warriors with them. Drona was there, Bhishmacharya was there, a lot of people were there. These people were trying to fight, fight, fight. Now their own teacher was fighting with them. How will they you know, fight a teacher who taught them archery? Now these people played a small trick of words. What did they do? When the war was going on, they thought they will shatter the confidence of Drona, who was their own teacher, so that they can take his opportunity. Now what they did? They used some very wise words in Sanskrit. They said, Ashwatthama hatha kunjaraha, they said. Ashwatthama was the son of Drona. Now when you say Ashwatthama has died, will the confidence of Drona not be shattered? Now his confidence was shattered like anything. And he lost the battle and he was utterly killed. 
truth was, they played a trick of words. They said, Hatha Kunjara is an elephant which they killed, it was named Ashwatthama. And they were able to kill Drona, and eventually they won a war. My dear friends, your words are like nuclear power. You can make lives, you can make living out of it. There are countries which only work on nuclear power. And on the other side, there are countries, there are civilizations which are vanished because of the power of nuclear weapons. Words which you use exactly matches the nuclear My dear fellow masters and friends, words can make gardens or burn the forests. Thank you.